Hello again, everybody. I've got some really cool vintage gear to show you today. This is a Slingerland 2012 16 in black diamond pearl, and it's totally a player's kit. It has one of those center mounts. Um, we have the mount, but it, it's not really functional because that's stripped. So we're just presenting it like this. It is in the pictures though. So we'll send it if you buy this one. Uh, it's got a couple of little things uh, that are issues. One of the hoops isn't original, but it, it's really, really close. And um, that's actually about it. Pretty much everything else functions. Both the tone controls are on the toms. And uh, yeah, the shells are in you know, very good shape. And yeah, just about everything else is there. Um, and then this is a really, really awesome snare drum that I'm going to be presenting as well. It's a Leedy. Um, and this is just uh, late enough that it's using the standard tension rods, which is nice, but it still has these wonderful old uh, brass stick chopper hoops, which I really, really love. And this has a, a really beautiful gold sparkle pattern that has kind of like a red, reddish background to it. And then the gold sparkle flakes. So really, really beautiful looking and wonderful sounding leady snare drum here. So yeah, just gonna play it for you. You're gonna do three tunings on the kit and the snare drum, I'll basically it's two tunings. One would be a little bit higher. I'll start with the low tuning and then middle and high. So there's low tuning, stay tuned for the middle and high. All right, so this is that same kit with a middle tuning and I had an Aquarian, uh, the one that's like the power stroke uh, with a lot of muffling for the low tuning. And now I have just an Evans G1 level 360. So very, very little muffling on the bass drum. And these are pinstripes on the toms. They, they pretty much work for all the tunings. Um, and then no muffling on the snare drum. Uh, as well and, and again no muffling on the toms either the pinstripes had enough muffling so that even with the low tuning i didn't have to add anything on there like any moon gel or anything like that so here we go
really, really great kit. And then uh, I'm going to do like a really high bebop tuning uh, for it as well. So stay tuned. All right. So this is the high bebop tuning and uh, got no muffling on any of the drums. So this is a really fun tuning for jazz. And uh, I'm not even going you know, to bother with taking the snares off on these <laughs> snare drums. Just FYI, these ones, the snares are always very finicky. It's a really awesome collectible drum that sounds fantastic, but uh, popping. This one works pretty well, but as you can hear, still got a little bit of that snare sound. Just part of the part of the deal with these snares. You can turn it off. You just have to loosen it, which is one extra step. So um, here we go. go uh, really really sweet kit lots of tuning range uh, the slinger lens in my opinion yeah they really really sing um, at the mid to high but honestly with these heads on it this thing really sounds fantastic in, in all three tunings better than I thought with these pinstripes for this this high tuning they cut down on the resonance just a little bit so uh, yeah that's it uh, check out our website and give us a call if you're interested at the Illinois shop thanks